Drink water! All right. Okay, America. Here we go. Chief Aries or Aries Army. Top 10, 20, 20, not 10, not 15, 20 reasons or tips. Fuck, I don't know if there are reasons. Top 20 tips on basic combat training. And this is just, these are just tips I've learned over my my training process my aunt, I already went through AIT and basic training so these are my top 20 tips I wrote down during basic training my little notebook like you always can't have a notebook but I wrote this down over basic training and AIT so I took notes so I'm not that bad of a person so all right so yeah yeah this is this is a good one reason number one fuck I keep on saying reason Tip number one, do not call your drill sergeant, sergeant. See, they, they earn that little badge on their uniform, their OCP drill sergeant, this will defend. And you see that little campaign hat, that means they're a drill sergeant. They earn that, they earn that title, drill sergeant. So don't call them sergeant because they don't, they're not sergeant, they're a drill sergeant. Drill sergeant, get that in mind. Sergeant, not, so, not sergeant, drill sergeant, drill sergeant, drill sergeant, drill sergeant, not sarge, or Sarge, or I don't know how they do that. And there's sort of things, but sergeant, not Sarge, you know, that piss them off too. And tip number two, uh, don't give them a officer promotion. What I mean by that, don't call them sir or yes, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, sir, yes, sir. Don't give them off that officer promotion. They're NCO, non commissioned officer, they, they earned that rank on their little, or like, their, I mean, that's ACU, that little rank out there, that's NCO rank. He has a little chevrons. Chevrons is a little and rocker. It's a little rocker. That means they're a non commissioned officer, so they're not a they're not that they're not officer, not and they're not a sir. So don't I know you're probably gonna witness somebody saying, Sir, yes sir. Cause I mean I guess they're trying to be polite, but don't don't do that. Uh, but tip number three is it ties along with the drill sergeant thing, yes drill sergeant, but um you Always want to answer yes, drill sergeant. No, drill sergeant. Don't give them a long ass like. Ooh, 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 why do you just well, drill sergeant? I, just say yes, drill sergeant. No, drill sergeant. Why do you fuck up? I fucked up, drill sergeant. Yes, drill sergeant. And if they were like, yeah, you fucked up. Yes, drill sergeant. You know, that's all you want to say. Yes, drill sergeant. No, drill sergeant. That's all you have to say. They'll give you the knife hand too. I don't know. I'm using knife hand. But um, yeah, that's all you want to answer. Yes, drill sergeant. No, drill sergeant. Unless they ask you to explain yourself, which I mean, that's only like if like you have a case on your hands or something like that but um let me flip the page real quick oh okay here here we go here we go this is my this is what my first sergeant said um be in the right uniform right time right place and that honestly will get you through basic training more than anything right uniform right place right time and let's say formation is at zero five i'm going to be there at zero uh 40 45 because that's 15 minutes prior and people are trying to get there 10 minutes prior. I mean, I'm already there early, so it looks good on me if, like, a sergeant's like, oh, my God, look at that soldier. He's already out there early. Cool. Like, um, plus you get formation early, and sometimes, like, if you're really going to be that guy, formation early, you can get breakfast, child, you get early in that line, so you get food, so you don't have to wait in the, in the line. That sucks. I don't like waiting in line. That's that's kind of like a that little small tip. You want to be there early, get in line early. Yeah. Um, number five, use teamwork. Tip number five, use, use teamwork, work, work. Because um, the faster you can get that teamwork process in motion, the faster uh, those drill sergeants will be like, oh my God, yeah, cool. The faster they'll uh, be less stress on you, basically. They'll be like, they'll be like, oh my God, look, they're working together. That's, that's cool. But yeah, they use teamwork. The faster y'all can get your platoon together, the faster drill sergeants will like ease up on y'all and be like, easy on you. But don't get me wrong, the first three weeks in red phase, it's, they're gonna yell at you, but I mean, at the end of the th third week, they'll be like, yeah, I'm tired of yelling. <laughs> so, and tip number six, don't ever leave, any, or don't leave anywhere, or any place, or any, anywhere, without a battle buddy. Like, <laughs> if you leave anywhere without a battle buddy, let's just, you're probably, yeah, you're probably gonna get chewed out, you're probably gonna get smoked, until uh, someone's like, where's your battle buddy? 
And then, like, you got to be arm's length away from your battle buddy. So, keep that in mind at all times. Make sure, like, if you're going back upstairs to see Frasum, get a battle buddy. Because if they catch you without a battle buddy, you're considered dead, which means they, you drop to the ground and you have to wait until the buddy. We had, like, six of those happen in our platoon. So, that was fun. Um, before you leave, if you're watching this before you leave, know your soldier's creed. Uh, get a blue book. Or uh, just type in Soldier's Creed, and you want, also want to type in three general orders. Um, I'll guard everything that limits my post and put my post on the proper leave. The second one will be my special orders, and what will be my orders, and be my special orders. And for all my duties in military manner. Whew, been a long time. And th third one is report all my violations of my uh, special orders, emergencies, anything not covered in my struggles to, to the manner of relief. I don't know if I did it right. It's been a long time, but you want to learn those. So it's three general orders, orders. Ugh. But um, also the last one you don't like. You don't have to learn it until the very end of basic because you're gonna say it. But I'm pr just just learn it anyway. It's the army song because you're gonna say it in every graduation, every uh, formal event you're gonna go to. You're gonna sing the army song. March along, sing the song with the army of the free. Got anything to that? So learn that. And page again. You're also gonna be memorizing a lot of stuff in the army, so. Oh, here's going. Um, don't leave your locker unsecure. Cause let me tell you. You're if you think if you think you left your locker unsecure, you left your locker unsecure. And what I mean by that? Um These handy dandy locks, you don't want to, you want to always look like this. You don't want to look like, uh, unlock it and be like, oh yeah. But also, you want to do this. If you have, get one of these. Because, like, if you have a combination lock, seriously, it only, t like, it only takes me, well, one, two, bam. It's going to take at least combination people, like, 20 seconds, maybe. I mean, if they're good, I mean, I guess 10 seconds. But if you mess up, you have to do it again. And if you're time stressed, like, they're making you go up and forth. You're going to get this, so. But anyways, you won't always want to lock your shit, no matter what. Because if you come back and you, it's on, you think you lock, lock it, you're going to come back to your bay with all your shit on the floor. And like, if you have shampoo in there, you best believe you're going to put that shampoo all over your clothes. So, yeah. Um, number nine, you want to set goals. What I mean by this, like, let's say a PT at 5.30, I mean... That's for the time, I guess. PT 5.30, and, like, you want to say, go, oh, my God, after this, there's freaking breakfast chow. And then, like, once you eat breakfast chow, it'll be like, oh, my God, lunch chow is only, like, four hours away or something like that. Or, like, you're going to the field, so you don't even think about it. But then, like, breakfast chow happens, man, lunch chow happens, bam, half day is gone. And you're like, all I have left is a dinner chow, and that's it, basically. And that's what you tell yourself. And then, like, that happens, bam, you're done. Or, like, ooh, Sunday. Yeah, I only have, like, nine weeks after that. Bam, done. Just set small goals like that, and it'll go by fast. I promise you. Like you doing the training, the training like makes time fly uh, so fast. You don't even think about it. You're having fun. Well, I mean, you're not really having fun, but you're you're doing something with your peers. Like you have people, your battle buddies, doing the same thing with you, and that just like makes the nostalgia like it's awesome. So yeah. Um, number what is this? Ten, 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 ten. Um, go to church because. Going to church, it just gives you time away from the barracks and time away from everyone, I guess. Like, because, I mean, the MLA, like, weeks, I think, four to ten, they let you go to, they, they let you march to church by yourself. So, that basically just, like, lets you have a long, like, a long time away from the drill sergeants. It happens every Sunday, so I would just go to it, even if you're atheist, like, just go to church, seriously. Eleven. Uh, whew. don't try to get any battle booze during basic training in an AIT. Don't do it. Don't do it. Sharp fraternization, not good. Don't do it. Wouldn't recommend it. Nope. Just no. Go away. If you see that happening, stay away. Walk away. Walk away because they take that shit seriously. I saw someone get a uh, day zero restart because of that shit. And number twelve, enjoy the little things like breakfast, like. I used to re really love breakfast because breakfast is honestly like got the pancakes going on, got the you know, eggs going on, eggs and pancakes. Whew, got, got me 
pretty good. Um, Denner was also the best because, like, I don't like my defect was honestly not that bad for there. That too. And number 13, don't be a follower, be a leader. You don't want to be a follower in the army because, like, if you're a follower in the army, you're not going to go anywhere in the army because they want leaders in the army now. So, I suggest don't do it, but I mean, honestly. You don't want too many leaders in basic training, because like if that happens, uh, you'll have that alpha male. Oh, listen to me, listen to me. You don't, you don't want that. At that point, you just like, no. Oh, all right, you go. So fourteen, always have pen and paper. This is not a pen, but this is pen in this case. But always have pen and paper on hand. They were like, who has pen and paper? And then be like, me, me, me. And then be like, oh my god, that soldier, who? And you don't know what you're, like, you don't know when you're going to take notes. You don't even know, like, some some drill sergeant might say something really good. And you're like, oh my god, let me write that down. And then, like, you have it, reference. But, um, yeah. It's always nice to have pen and paper. So it's good. Number, tip number 15. Give it your 110% every day. Because if the drill sergeant sees that... They're more, more likely to promote you. If they, they're always looking at you and always, you're always giving 110%, they're going to see an outstanding soldier. And that'll, that'll give you more points. So, points! So, yeah. 16. PT, PT, PT. What I mean by this, you, you have P, PT like every day. Once a day. In the morning time. 5.30. But, honestly, that, that doesn't even like help you. Like, passing the PT test, 50%. 35 push-ups, 47 sit-ups, and then 1636. If you if you want to pass the PTS and then go to the AIT state or 60%, you want to do PT on your own every night. Like what I mean by this, like just do 20 push-ups every night or something like that, or do close arm push-ups and do sit-ups every night. Do crunches, do something in your free time. Because I know that 20, 2100 to 2100 I mean you're probably washing clothes, a taking a shower, a uh, getting your clothes on. Your PDs on for most CPs, and then writing letters. I mean, come on, you have time for that. Don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. Um, 17. Always take the time to fix your shoe display in the morning. And what I mean by this is like, just you know, you go, yeah, your OCP boots, your your shoe dress shoes you don't have yet, uh, your PT shoes and your shower shoes. Just line them up and make it look good. I mean, guys, the drill sergeant, believe it or not. When you're going downstairs for PT, they going up because they looking at stuff, and they see your like you see your straight and you see your bunk made straight. You fix your battle buddies too, like make sure your all your whole little bunk buddies are straight too. Because if they see that, they'll be like, hmm. They'll take up there like, so this soldier's so straight, but look at these soldiers. They'll they'll be like the reference off of you. That's nice. So, uh, all right. So tip number eighteen: um, eat healthy. What I mean by this, like they'll they should have. Uh, we call it like little green, yellow, and red things. Saying red's bad, yellow's kind of good, and green's like, woo. Uh, I'm gonna say it's like Monday, Tuesday, when, uh, when, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Eat green. Like try to eat green, but yeah, just try to eat green. And then Tuesday, Thursday, you can eat red. You know what I'm saying just try to eat healthy. Don't eat red all the time because you need the green stuff. Trust me. And tip, uh, if you get rice, put some salt in it because you're always going to be drinking water. And so, like, you can actually probably overhydrate yourself. And so, the salt helps you retain the water so you don't kill yourself. Okay. Um, so on the last two here. Uh, we just talked about this. Drink water. Before you go into basic, drink water. Two, like, if you, if you can, two weeks before you go to basic, just drink, like, a one one bottle a day of water get help you get used to the water and cut down all the uh, soda pops and crap like that but yeah and number 20 my last tip always volunteer uh, yourself for details always volunteer yourself because what what I mean by this like the sergeant's like I need six people six soldiers from whoever platoon to come help me if you, if you volunteer yourself every time, they'll be like, damn, damn, this old guy's always fucking trying to volunteer and shit. He actually wants to do something. And it makes you not look lazy. It makes you look like you want, actually want to do something and, like, be someone. And that just returns, just makes you makes you look good in the army. So, 
That's a tip for basic training AIT in, in, in the real army. Always sign up yourself for details. Because, I mean, you always want to be running to details because it makes you look good, basically. So, that's all my tips. Um, reception's going to suck. <laughs> Obviously, it's gonna be slow getting shots getting your dental getting all your paperwork ready But the day you finally meet your basic training Company it's gonna be a adrenaline rush from there on so as long as you get you get past day zero. It's fine It's gonna get it's gonna level out. So I hope you enjoyed this video I know my videos haven't been sa like they have not been saving on I just noticed that I got home like February 9th and I looked on my YouTube channel. I was like where my videos at though and my I got copyrighted because I use uh, music so they took my videos down so I'm sorry I know but um I'm I should be making more videos now because I'm home I can actually make videos have time for that so thank you guys for watching uh, if you like this kind of stuff comment uh, leave a like down below and comment your ideas what I should I do next so thank you guys so much and have a nice day guys see you and good luck for basic training